That's why it's interesting, David's words. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that is gonna come against the armies of the living God? Who is gonna come against the church of the living God? Biden, Newsom, LGBTQs, who, who is gonna come against the, the living God? Who? Here's the key, you better have your heart right, church. That's the key. You better have your heart right. Nothing can come, nothing, no demon in hell, nothing can stop the work of God. Unless the devil says, hey, shame, remember the good old days? Come on back, come on back, come on back. Remember the, it's compromises, okay? You're really not in trouble, nobody's gonna know. Come on, come on, remember, remember the good old days? Remember schooners? Yeah, I remember throwing up and getting kicked out. I think Perry the bouncer might've been there. He comes here now. Remember, remember, re but remember Vegas? And Palm Springs during spring break? Oh boy, do I ever. Remember those? Come on. Oh, but see, he just shows you the delight, not the damage. And that's, he cannot, the devil cannot stop you. He's not equal with God. You fight from a position of victory. Hold the line, church. Hold the line. Ask the Assyrian army, 185,000 men trained for war. And God just, he, didn't, he, just, he just sent a death angel. Hey, go deal with these. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Rose Bowl full twice? And they woke up dead? Ask the vast army that came against Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. All they did was worship and they fled. Ask the Babylonians in their pride. We defeated Israel, who can stop us? God says, I'm gonna raise up Cyrus to defeat you. I can go grab a, a godless king <laughs> to do my will. Ask the Sanhedrin what they think of Jesus now. Or Pilate, what, is, what, is, what does he think of Jesus now? What about mighty Rome, the mighty Roman Empire? No God, but Caesar. Oh, how's that panning out for you? Oh, actually, how did that pan out for you? Nobody has defeated God. Nobody ever from the, 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 from the beginning of time. There are seasons that we don't understand with the, with the Holocaust and Titus in AD 70 in Jerusalem, the communists take over many countries and the slaughter of people. And I don't understand it, but I understand that they're in heaven with God and God is still on the throne and God is still working his sovereign control over men. What about uh, Nero in Rome had his mother stabbed to death for treason and his wife Octavia beheaded. Domitia, he was called the beast from hell who sat in the den licking blood. That's why they think he's actually the beast of revelation, some views do. Marcus Aurelius, Christian blood flowed more, more than ever before under his leadership. Diocletian led the greatest persecution to, to extinguish Christianity. Ask them, how, how did it work? You're trying to extinguish Christianity. It's the largest movement ever known in the history of man where lives are being radically changed. The demonic round is being, be, being bound and people are living and being set free. What about Voltaire? Have you heard that name before? I think he's a French atheist. He said, I will bring Christianity to nothing within my lifetime. And then he died and they begin to print Bibles in his home. Who's gonna stop God Almighty? His nurse testified they have it in writing. She said, for all the wealth of Europe, I would never see another infidel die like he died. The torment, the last few weeks of his life. Oh, be careful when you mock God. I didn't watch any, I just saw the title. Some of you follow a guy named Jake Paul, I hope you don't, but he's a famous YouTuber for kids. I told my, but it said on there, it's, it's, it's the worst day he's ever had after he mocked Jesus Christ on, on air. Worst day he's ever had in his life. Anybody heard the name Christopher, Chris, Christopher Hitchens? All these guys are so proud and arrogant when they're breathing. Famous atheist recently died. It, it definitely within 10 years ago or so. He said a virgin can conceive, a dead body can walk again, your leprosy can be cured, the blind can see, nonsense. We need to stop telling kids lies. God is not great and religion poisons the mind. What would he say today? I mean, let that sink in. Nobody defeats God. Nobody mocks him and wins in the end. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Christ is Lord and Savior. Praise.